What's good? You know what it is. You rocking with your boy Zar, all rights reserved. I'm going to let you know up front. We ain't going to talk that long, but we're going to talk about it. Kellen Winslow II. He's now being investigated for charges of committing several acts of lewdness against another human being. Um, I'm saying that because they haven't released the age of the human being nor the genders of the human being. Uh, seems to be women, but it's against two different human beings, allegedly. And what's crazy is how you could go from an NFL contender to somebody who's just an everyday criminal. Now, again, this happens to be uh, an African-American man. He's mixed. But um, what he's being charged for and what they're hinting at is some things that is not of the usual. Matter of fact, he's actually one of the charges is sodomy and things. So what's really going on? Now, a good point I saw from uh, Tommy Sotomayor, and I know how people get on my page like, oh, why you reference him? Because I reference who makes sense. Uh, one good thing that he used that really uh, kind of hit the spot when you think about it is the fact that what if he did things with women who were willing, but he didn't pay up. So because he didn't pay up, they made claims of this nature. And something like that's very normal. And the more I think about it, it makes more sense how women and different people are actually, you know, setting up the standards to say, hey, you know what I mean? Like this happened to me this many years ago. This happened this long ago. Now they're starting to come out and a story I'm not going to go into Sylvester Stallone because I'm not really sure that he's responsible for that. But what I can say is that in this situation, there's a huge uproar of individuals who are considered iconic being accused of doing things, especially men. And women are coming out so late, like in the 80s, like just weird stuff. And that's what I talk about knowing your rights, because something like that, it easily, it easily points to a problem existing. And, and that's what I guess most people aren't willing to address, aren't willing to speak about. But I'm going to talk about it because it's something that it is pressing in the society. Are you with the women? Or are you against the men? You know what I mean? And that's actually the same thing. That was a bird man move just now. But are you with the women um, and against the men? Or are you a, with the men and against what these women's claims are? Do you think these women are telling the truth? I mean, that's all it boils down to. I mean, if it was and is, then the evidence should show. But these cases where they're reporting it decades later, it's just insensitive. They literally um, got both Harvey Weinstein and Bill Cosby. Now, you know what I mean? That opened the door for people to randomly speak on celebrities like Morgan Freeman doing things that we never expected from these men. Are they trying to destroy the legacies these men have created? You know what I mean? There's always two sides to a story, and it just seems like they're running off with one side and using it to um, portray a certain viewpoint. So we'll see role models and icons a certain way, because I already know that there's major issues going on. My thing is, if all of this stuff is happening, why is the sentencing for pedophiles so light? You already know here on Zara Rights Reserve that we address what makes sense. What I don't get is if you're willing to put these men away for years, why are these pedophiles getting probation? And I could run down a major list of stories where pedophiles had been given probation. And honestly, it makes me want to investigate the individuals that are surrounding the case, including the judge, the uh, accusers, because it just doesn't make sense. These men, grown men, touch a child and get out of their issues, get out of their danger. But you're going to sit here and try and throw away the key on guys who decades later are being accused of things. Even Jamie Foxx was just accused of slapping a woman with his penis. How did he hit you in the face with it if you weren't on your knees? How did he even slap it on your head if you were nowhere near his waistline? 
that's the type of stuff I'm talking about. And it's starting to get out of hand. It really needs to get fixed. It really needs to get addressed on a much higher level. There's no way you're just going to get away with giving people all these sorts of charges and pointing a finger years later because, oh, I saw something and thought about it. If you're really violated, don't you report it right away? Now, I will say about Morgan Freeman's incident, it was reported right away. It was reported right away. So that's a little different. But they're literally accusing men and throwing men under the bus and getting rid of them off of decades of incidents. And they're like, oh, we didn't know this was happening. At the same time, why are pedophiles walking free? Why are they getting probation and keeping their freedom? I don't get it. Doesn't make sense. And again, I'm not going to throw out names because you could go look it up pedophile gets probation type that into google type that into youtube all these videos are going to come up some of my old videos are going to come up that's why i don't go into detail anymore because that that's just ridiculous you're you're trying to weigh the difference between touching a child and i guess what they're what they're allegedly doing to these women it just doesn't make sense and it's just far out and it really does seem like a conspiracy what so you're going to go after guys who allegedly hurt women but a child doesn't hold any weight a child's not recognized as important or as impressive because they can't verbalize yet but they get they're old enough to get abused and see that's what i wanted to get away from i told y'all i don't like talking about this because when i talk about the pedophile nature and stuff it gives me personal emotions that because i don't rock with that and if i walked in doing something like that that person would definitely get hurt very badly and I don't need a weapon to do it. And that's what I'm saying. Like, and then I'd go to jail because you're like, oh, you hurt this person. What about him hurting the child that can't defend himself? That's what makes me think authority uh, encourages pedophilic views, allegedly. And I'm not saying they do, but when you're sitting here giving probation because a man violated a little girl or put his hands on a little boy, it makes me look at y'all weird. Like, you guys are messed up in the head. You're really going to give a pass to a pedophile but throw the key away on Bill Cosby when the claims were decades ago and these women just decided to do it when Trump became president like it was cool? I don't get it. Let alone Trump had his own accusations thrown at him for doing it. So what's really going on? What's really good? What, because these guys weren't touching children, you're okay with it? Or let's say if they touched a child it would have been a lighter sentence like for real are, are we really going down this path are we really going to rock like that because most people that watch me are adults you can't argue with that that's ridiculous it's getting out of hand and i have all the support behind women all my women viewers you should not be violated but just as much when a child's violated all of the women population and all of the men population should stand up and say something. Why is it just silent and the pedophile walks out with probation or two years in prison? That's crazy. You touched a child. You should get the key thrown away. It's backwards. It's backwards. I just think it's a backwards concept and they're not thinking clearly. And that's what my problem is. Adults who are in power not thinking clearly. They're a lot, literally allowing children to get abused like it's okay. But then let a woman get touched. Oh, we got to investigate. Like, you guys are a joke. And that's why I'm going to always say that authority's a joke like that. You want to stand up for the rights of someone? Stand up for a child that couldn't defend himself. Doesn't that just make sense? Oh, but let it have been your child or something. You're going to make sense. That's why I don't rock with y'all. And I'm not talking about you guys. I'm talking about them. Cause you, and they know who they are. If you've ever done it or you've been involved or you got family touching, I don't rock with you. Even if I found out my own family was involved in something like that, I wouldn't rock with you. Because touching children, it, it's not a joke. Even if we presume it's someone, it's a, a father or a mother touching their own child, that's, I don't rock with you. And there needs to be more done to you. That's why sometimes street justice makes sense that that's why it makes sense because if you're really going to put your hands on a child be ready to get hands put on you and no no one's trying to fill you up no ain't none of that they're really trying to slump you because you're you're sitting there putting your hands 
on so uh, uh, le a lesser age being when you need to go for adults. You're an adult, look for adults because your game's whack and you can't get into nothing and you can't make it work out or, or get the attention of someone. You gotta sit there and violate someone who's youth and mess their brains up to think that something's acceptable when it's not. And that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm trying to get away from that, but the more they do it, I'm going to subtly bring it up. And if it gets bad enough, I'm going to have to go for the names because that's my thing. People need to know who's doing this. People need to know who's involved in this type of activity. You guys get no passes here. And here, this is not a channel. If you're a pedophile, you don't want to follow me. That's not what you want to do. That's not what you want. Just like Lil Dirk says, this ain't what you want. Because I don't rock that way. And I don't support nothing about that. And I really don't think if you get freed in prison somehow, I really think you need a legit ass whooping. Excuse me, YouTube. But that had to be said. Because that's crazy. Touching children. and Nobody rocks with that. Are you stupid? Man. This stuff needs to end. And I'm going to tell you this. I'm only turning up and I'm just getting started. And you know how I rock. All rights reserved.